What's up everybody, Isamu Sushi here, and I've got the card pewter and uh, by M5 Stack, comparing it a little bit to the uh, Flipper Zero. And uh, I've had people asking me questions and you know, can it can do this, can it do that? Um, so I thought I'd just do a little video comparing the two. Now, uh, anything that you're doing, Flipper Zero, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, you need to access internet. This is the Wi-Fi dev board. Oh, sorry. Wi-Fi dev board. And you can see it is run by an ESP32-S2 W Rover chip. And I know that probably doesn't mean anything unless you look up the specs, but this is how it's connecting to the internet. And depending on your firmware, this is how you're doing all your pen testing attacks and so forth. Now, um, this thing is uh, running, you can see right now, I've got it run Doom at the 60 frames per second. And uh, it's not a demo version, it's the f like the, uh, or a joke version, kind of like the flipper, it's the full game. You can see this thing is run by um, an ESP32 S3 chip, and that's how it's access accessing Bluetooth internet. And that's why you can basically do the same types of thing you could do with the Flipper Zero Wi-Fi dev board. Um, but one thing is, um, uh, oh, one, sorry, to compare and contrast also, uh, you can see SD card slot and infrared. Um, and then this has a Grove port and your five volt in and out, uh, where the Flipper Zero has got uh, your GPIO board pin, a very good setup, infrared, the I button, and the built-in card reader, the NF or RFID chip readers. Um, that's one thing that the card pewter does not have built-in, does not have a built-in card reader. Um, however, that is an attachment you can get and basically do the same thing. So with this thing starting at $30, depending on what you wanna do with it and you get the attachment, so say you wanted to do some more driving, it's already got the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi enabled, so all you need is the GPS chip, which I got one on the way. I'll do a video when it gets here, but GPS chip, and you can do war driving the same as I would do with this after attaching a GPS chip to the uh, dev board. So, you know, it's kind of, uh, it can do everything exactly the same. It's just a little bit different because of the way that you have to connect and it doesn't have quite as many built-in features. A uh, really nice thing though is color screen and a very, very fast speed. Now, if you uh, wanted to run firmware on the fly and change it, the Doom uh, software isn't compatible with the M5 launcher. And the M5 launcher is what you've got to install on this. Um, so you can see right here, I'm going to choose the M5 launcher and I'm going to choose Burn. And unofficial, yes, nothing is official except for the one single one. Make sure you know what comm you're on. And I'm going to hit Start. So Doom is going to go bye-bye. It's going to change everything and it's going to install the M5 launcher. Now from the M5 launcher, you can access the SD card slot and any op firmware uh, you have on it and then install it on the go. You can see there's the launcher right there. Here's your SD card slot. You have over the air and then I can't remember what the WI, start web user interface. Oh, web user interface. So basically, uh, say I wanted to do some pen testing and uh, access some Wi-Fi or do some more driving. I can go in here, go to my downloads, and uh, oops, and uh, pick Bruce. And basically, that's a firmware that can do all the same things that the Momentum firmware, well, almost all the same as the Momentum firmware installed on a Flipper Zero. Uh, where did I do, do Bruce for card pewter, enter, install, and you can see installing firmware on the go. I'm not doing this from the computer. That was from the earlier burn. Uh, so technically you can see I can unplug this 
and it is just fine while it's installing and blah 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 i technically do like the flipper zero better but given the fact that this starts at 30 dollars and uh, depending on where you're going 300 plus dollars um retail is something like 100 and something dollars and then like 50 to 80 dollars for the wi-fi dev board but you don't get it at retail and then whatever else you want to do with it okay so you see there we go bruce is installed and i can access my wi-fi uh connect to wi-fi wi-fi access points wi-fi attacks war driving telenet ssh raw sniffer evil portal scan host also has um your there's your bluetooth the rf but you've got to have the rf reader um attachment in the grove port for that to work rfid um infrared which that does have built in just not as strong as the flipper fm radio you got to have an attachment um, and then there's others uh, it's just a sd card Little F, web, UI, QR codes, Megalodon. That's actually a game you can use to unlock some dev credits. Um, it's kind of cool. If you didn't know, try it out. But um, just kind of give you an idea of the Flipper Zero versus the uh, M5 Stacks card pewter. Um, I really do like this device. I love it. It's a slick device. There's your Technic connections for your... Um, Legos. It's also uh, got a very good magnet on the back so you can, uh, depending on what you're doing, you can actually mount this somewhere and use it to control a device or a robot, program it, whatever, Arduinos, etc. So it's a fun device. It's cool. It's inexpensive. It will take a little bit of time to get it here from China. So make sure whatever you want attachment wise, you try to get it when you buy the device. Um, a lot of things are out of stock on this one though. It's much easier to get attachments for the Flipper Zero um, to get all your different uh, dev boards. They're much easier to get, less expensive generally. Um, but getting the Flipper Zero to start is just outrageously, ridiculously priced because it's restricted in the US. And that's ridiculous because devices like this and anything else that can be built from scratch well, a lot of different things built from scratch by uh, people that know what they're doing can do the same thing. So anyway, that's why restricted, not banned. I, I hope this helps. Um, I, I'm not an expert at this, but I just kind of wanted to give people an idea of the card pewter versus the flipper zero. Anyway, thank you so much if you stuck around till the end. I appreciate you all. Like, subscribe, share, comment. Um, but if you did stick till the end, you're awesome. You guys are the bomb. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Love you. Bye-bye.